The sell-off of the tech titans extended into a second day in a choppy session Friday. The Nasdaq plunged as much as 9.9% intraday from Wednesday's close before sharply pairing its losses in the afternoon. The Nasdaq dropped 1.3% Friday. The Dow lost half a percent and the S&P 500 shed eight tenths percent. The S&P snapped its streak of five weeks of gains. Worries about elevated valuations for mega cap tech stocks were exacerbated by media reports saying options trading by Japan's SoftBank had inflated them. Pence Wealth Management President Leila Pence is not put off by the pullbacks. I think today is um, is an opportunistic day. I mean, I really think that that it, it's more. Um, I guess it was something about SoftBank and some some things that happened. So it's it's not really about fundamental. Nothing happened to these stocks in the last two days to require the to deserve that kind of a drop. Some analysts said the August jobs report showing a less than expected increase in hiring did little to push forward the stalled talks for a fresh stimulus package. Back on Wall Street, shares of Broadcom rose 3%. The supplier of chips to Apple forecast fourth quarter revenue that topped analyst estimates. Next week, investors will get the latest read on inflation at the consumer and wholesale levels.